Hello everyone, thank you for subscribing my channel at first place. And this is a small announcement on the new Azure badge, which I'm planning to start from 4th of March. So let me quickly share the details for the same. So I'll go to my blog here under uh, my blog, under blogs, referring the latest blog article. All right, so as I mentioned, uh, this is going to be Azure admin and Azure DevOps along with the Terraform. We are planning to cover off in this training module. And if you look for the certifications, uh, official Azure certifications, we are planning to cover 104, which is an administration, and then 305 is kind of an architect and uh, designing, and then uh, 400, which is an Azure DevOps. So these are the three training modules. We'll try to consolidate it and uh, walk through in the span of, let's say, uh, 40 odd days and daily it's going to be one hour 15 minutes as mentioned here. so as i mentioned batch is going to start from 4th march morning 6 45 to 8 o'clock so a couple of demos you can join initially uh, for free and uh, see uh, the course is really helping you gain into the next uh, next job role so you can continue so use this link to join the free demos and you can also or join the WhatsApp group, which I have mentioned at the bottom here. So use the link to join the current batch WhatsApp group for collaboration and queries. Yeah. Right. So we'll we'll walk through the course content later. So let's quickly see what are the prerequisites. So the prerequisites for this training will be either one must have the Windows or Linux experience or virtualization or traditional virtualization like VMware or Hyper-V or Nutanix will be an added advantage. And if you have any other cloud experience like AWS or GCP will be a definitely value add for this Azure training. Right. And as I mentioned, the fee will be 15,000 if you go with the two installments and it's going to be 13,000 if you go with the single payment, you will get 2,000 discount. So roughly I need 45 days to cover off the whole program. I exclude uh, some of the demos, what we going to conduct initially, right? So, and it's going to be Monday to Saturday and we'll take a Sunday break or Monday to Saturday, daily one hour, 15 minutes, one hour for session, 15 minutes for uh, review the question and answers and then any scenarios that you'd like to discuss on the previous sessions or the current sessions will utilize that other 15 minutes right so you can join the webex link which is already mentioned here this, this is also a shortcut for the webex link or you can refer the webex link directly from here and you can join and if it if it asks for a password it's four zeros for the password to join the bridge all right, so also I've mentioned some of the previous demo sessions which I recorded on YouTube. You, you can refer here or you can always look for uh, the videos uploaded in the, my channel for the demo sessions, right? So let me quickly walk through the course content. And when it comes to Azure, we're going to start with Azure Basics and what are the things that we're going to cover under Azure, what is our cloud platform, how the Azure Resource Manager works and how you're going to access it, how you're going to manage it from so day to day that we're going to discuss here on a high level. Then we'll start with the networking and we'll spend some time in understanding Azure networking topology or landscape and network security and advanced security using a firewall or and then your virtual machines, we're going to talk about Azure virtual machines and what all the day-to-day -day operations that you'll perform in terms of managing virtual machines and stuff. Then implementing high availability, high availability and uh, disaster recovery solutions for Azure. So Azure's uh, customers, so using the load balancer, using the standard load balancer and the DNS and using application gateway. And there will be another component called using front door. And then uh, also there's another component called uh, the traffic manager profile which is not mentioned here point number nine and ten you can consider the traffic manager and the uh, what i'll say front door will also be considered here for testing and along with the WAF. WAF i mentioned at the bottom but consider web application firewall is from a security standpoint we're going to test all at one go now in terms of auto scaling we'll use the virtual machine scale set how the skill sets can uh, give you an advantage to auto scale and uh, with minimum cost and maximum output or utilizing resources efficiently how this can be configured managed tested that we will see right and coming back to the storage so what, what type of storage is azure offers in terms of uh, native storage of native storage requirements in terms of modern storage requirements when i say native storage your C, uh, cfs and nfs or your uh, uh, nas file sheets and stuff or in other words, your traditional uh, uh, file storage I'm talking about. Then when it comes to modern storage, your object storage or blob or 
your um, uh, modern uh, modern uh, uh, container storage, uh, certain container storage, how you can utilize it and how you will manage it in terms of recovery that we will discuss here. Then back to backup and recovery, disaster recovery and BCDI. So what services are we going to utilize in order to provide the backup and recovery solutions within the Azure for Azure uh, resources? Also the DR strategy, how you will plan for it, right? So once that is done, we will jump on to the past services world where we'll talk about SQL, We'll talk about app services, SQL databases and pass service, app services on the pass service. Then we'll move on to security standpoint. We'll talk about Active Directory. We'll talk about uh, disaster configurations and automation and run books and stuff to manage your day-to-day -day operations in terms of Azure operation support. Now, then we will move on to your uh, container world where microservices docker how it functions and then azure function app logic app or your container instances using the docker how you will run those things on the azure and how the kubernetes cluster works and how you will manage the aks cluster in terms of day to day as an azure admin or as a developer how you will set up all those things that we will discuss here on a high level then we will talk about day to day operations like diagnosis monitoring and reporting and analytics uh, what 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 tools that you will use how you will perform your day to day operations in terms of managing the monitoring and uh, uh, reporting solutions that we will discuss on high level. Then we'll, we'll come to infrastructure as a code where uh, we talk about JSON, YAML, and then your Terraform. And if possible, we will try to include Bicep as well in this batch. So uh, we'll see how those uh, how those automation tools or uh, infrastructure as a code elements can be used in order to deploy standard uh, infrastructure deployments without any uh, GUI usage, how you can uh, manage the robust environment and in terms of uh, uh, maintain version bullet versioning and uh, other stuff, how we will do that using Terraform that we will see over here. And as I mentioned, CDN and web application firewall will talk about uh, these components when we're talking about high availability and uh, your load balances and stuff that time we will test this. Now, apart from that, we're going to talk about function and logic app as I mentioned. It's going to be a little high, high level overview only since we're not, we're not into a developer background, we'll not be able to pick up a scenario and test on the application uh, function and logic app. So we'll try and review the overview then We'll spend some time on setting up a CI/CD pipelines and how you're going to manage the Azure DevOps uh, uh, pipelines and how you will manage Azure DevOps repos and test cases and your uh, project management using the Azure, Dev Azure DevOps uh, boards and how you will set up the Terraform pipelines, how you will set up the Java application pipelines and stuff that we will test during the Azure DevOps discussion. Then we'll talk about Data, uh, the management and governance and standards, how you're going to put in place the policies, how you will enforce, and what sort of a benchmark testing that you're going to consider, what sort of security or vulnerability assessments and scores that you will check that we will discuss at the end. Then we will come back to your Azure migration from an arm to mice how you will bring your infrastructure to Azure using certain migration tools or uh, manual efforts or automated migrations and stuff. Then when it comes to managing the Azure environment more efficiently, cost is also one of the key factor. How you will manage the existing cost, how you will analyze and propose the new solution cost, how you will optimize the existing services cost that we will discuss at the end. Then finally, we'll talk about uh, the certifications, what certifications that you can plan for, and what sort of uh, projects that you can include on your CV after practicing for a couple of months, how you're going to plan for your interviews and stuff that we will discuss at the end. So with this, we're going to conclude that all, the, all this program will take a, at least 45 days to cover off and daily one hour, 15 minutes. It's going to be roughly 50 hours training. So they're going to start from 4th of March, morning 6.45. So we'll see you on the demo day. Thank you.